what is going on everyone god bless you all what's going on with the latest and greatest from the religion of peace and i promise i won't go overboard but just to discuss of what's going on to bring balance so if you guys remembered um i think it was about a month or a month and a half ago uh an islamist trying to murder a cop with a machete so it looked like they brought the sentencing and they will put him in 27 years. It looked look like a little sarcastic comment towards the end. And Times Square gets 27 years of prison, Dawa. <laughs> of course, a good place where Moses want to convert people in jail. What I noticed that too, where a lot of people that got converted at jail, a lot of the Muslims, they twist it around because they try to give them a sense of hope. Yeah, you want to fight for what's right. You know, you want to fight against the the tyrants, American government, anyone else. But they don't realize it's actually the opposite. That they're trying to find ways to lie to you to convert, coming to you with peace. And then once you're in, just like a gang, you're trying to leave. Then according to the Quran, the Hadith, Sharia, that anyone that leaves the religion should be unalived. Or execute it let's see let's take a look on the article so I think this guy was a convert and this is what we got to warn these young people man they just going off by their emotions think that Islam is the way I mean I'm pretty sure their parents or anyone has brought them up about what Islam is about and the terrorist activities that's been going on for years and years and years once again, the elephant in the room is steadfastly and resolutely ignored. U.S. Attorney Damian Williams admits that Bickford was inspired by radical Islamic extremism, but neither he nor anyone else displays even the smallest glimpse of curiosity regarding how exactly this convert to Islam came to be inspired by radical Islamic extremism or about what could possibly be done in the future to prevent that sort of thing. You know, I'm pretty sure if he's in the city area, there are a lot of undercover ways to bring them into the, the move of jihad. They have to use different terminology or probably watching on YouTube, getting things the wrong message out of them or by their friends they grew up with, where many of the Western Muslims, that is, if they hardly don't practice and won't give them the full truth of it. Let's see, this is William and his colleague, of course, do not want to appear Islamophobe. But look, just stop it. They're, you don't have to worry about that. It is Muslims that they have to worry about because they're the biggest phobic if they follow it all the way. They get offended easily by any other religious group talking to them. And let's see, Maine and Maine, man sentenced to 27 years for Times Square machete attack. On New York on New Year's Eve oh so this takes back damn, I don't know why these court order <laughs> takes so long so this is going back to 2022 by Courtney Copenhagen from the NBC New York News let's see the main 20 year old accused of trying to murder NYPD officers in 2022 with a machete well, let me go down don't want to read through all of it the keywords Trevor Bickford is his name, the convert, indicated in January 2023 on terror charges, including attempted murder, assault, and aggravated assault on a police officer. According to the Manhattan DA, he pleaded guilty a year later to five counts involving those charges which stem from December 31st, 2023. Attack on three cops he approached on 8th Avenue between 51st and 52nd Street. Definitely were aware in that area. Bigfoot previously told the judge that he was under psychiatric <laughs> Why is that every Muslim now? Probably those Dawa folks gave the all right guys, this is what you're going to say when you get caught. Just say you have a mental breakdown. I'm pretty sure you guys should be picking up the pattern. No, these guys know what they were doing when they read the book. Let's see. Okay, so this was a psychiatric treatment for Shizzle. Shizzle affective disorder during his guilty plea in January. I attempted to kill three uni uniform NYPD officers. I know what I did was wrong and I'm sorry. No, you wasn't. People with that motive, and you see the pattern in Islamic countries, what they do to non Muslims. Please, I, I don't have sympathy for that. Because as long as you follow the book, you know exactly what you are doing. 
As part of his plea, Bickford admitted that he scouted, excuse me, Times Square and chose a group of NYPD officers as his target. Anything with the government badge, right? Yeah, we gotta get those Kaffirs. We wanna raise the flag of jihad. He said he carried out the attack to wage jihad with the goal of killing military-aged men so he could become a martyr. Yeah, so he could get his 72 Dylan Mulvaney's in hell. Yeah, great job. Inspired by radical Islamic extremism, Trevor Bickford brutally attacked three NYPD officers who were just doing their jobs by protecting the public during the Times Square. So at least he's locked up, but still, you cannot fall for these kind of lies. If the DAs or anybody do not see those pedophile articles, they come with this concept, oh yeah, I wasn't under, you know, medical treatment. I was having a psychic breakdown. What, the gin got to you? I'm pretty sure you'll like it, or the gin told you to lie about it. <laughs> a religion that teaches to lie to. There are articles out there, their Quranic verses is 2024. You guys can look it up on the Quranic app to see how bad it is. Or continue, continue looking at more former Muslims that have all the references and sources. I have a few of my pages and many more. So you can see the pattern why that it's not a psychiatric breakdown that these people knew what they were doing. And the ideology that teaches to dominate the world and to Islamicize. There's no teaching of love behind it. Everything is just based on power and chaos. So like, share it, always prepare yourself, educate yourself. Because the government won't be there to save you. But the Spirit of God will convict you. And when you see these problems with the Quran, you know that God is reaching out. And it's time to come back home to your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care and God bless.